Hey folks, how you doing? Trees. Uh, very difficult things to model for your model railway. Um, I experimented with lots of different methods, um, but by far and away the, the cheapest and easiest and quickest way I found is to use twigs or ideally tree roots. Now I was out for a walk with my dogs the other day um, and I saw this fallen tree. Um, now, some trees, not all types of tree, but some uh, deciduous trees in particular, the roots make fantastic model trees. They tend to be a bit more um, gnarly and twisted and a bit more tree-like than the twigs, but you can use the twigs of some trees as well. Um, and I also think the roots tend to be a bit stronger and not as fragile when they dry out. So this little tree here is one I made from one of those tree roots. So I'll show you how I made it. So here's a couple of pieces of uh, tree root that I cut off that fallen tree. Um, you know, they're all completely unique. That's the other good thing about them. They're not uniform at all. Um, you know, with this straight away, you can see that's going to make quite a good tree. This one's just a little bit weirder, but that's fine. You know, you don't want them all the same. So I think we'll use this one just now. So the first thing you need to be able to do is to stand it up. So I just use a piece of card with a hole cut in it. And do that. There we go. That will allow us to add the foliage. So to add foliage, uh, there's a number of different ways you can do it. Uh, a popular one I've seen people do is using this stuff, polyfiber. Um, you know, you put some of this on and then you spray it with glue and sprinkle some scatter on and spray it with some more glue. Um, yeah, you can do that. I found that very messy and I wasn't too too impressed with the results, to be honest. And it requires a fair bit of skill to, to get it to look right. But, you know, it's a perfectly legitimate way of doing it. So I prefer to use this stuff. Uh, it's made by a company called Bush. Um, and it's just called Foliage. It's made in Germany, so I don't know what any of that says. But when you take it out of the packet, it's just this big sheet of stuff. Um, and it's brilliant, you know, because you can do almost anything with it. Just tear a piece off, get rid of the straight edges, and you can kind of separate it out a bit. And then, basically, you would just put it directly onto your tree. Like so. Obviously, you need to glue it on. So, just put on some PVA. PVA is the best glue to use for this. It's uh, not the quickest drying, but it does the job quite well. So, glue this on, like that. And then what I like to do is just add some more glue on the top. And then just put some of this on. Just adding some clumps on top of each other just gives it a bit more uh, shape, I would say. And then you just keep going. Just tear off a clump. Stretch it out a wee bit. Decide where you're going to put it. Add on some glue. And there you go. Don't worry about the white glue showing. It dries clear. If you think you've got too much weight at the top, you could uh, snip some away. So I could maybe want to snip the top of that. And maybe that. So I've just shaped that there so the tree basically gets smaller at the top rather than bigger. Um, that's one of the things you'll find with tree roots, uh, or twigs and branches as well from real trees. They tend to start off small and get bigger, um, but really it should come out and then come in again. If you look at the shape of any tree, just put glue. Okay, I'm going to put the foliage. So you can see that this is actually quite a quick and easy way to make a tree. Put it 
turn it around. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that. There we go. One tree. Just going to let that glue dry and then we can put it on the layout. Uh, this foliar stuff, you can get it on eBay, it's about £4.10 for a pack, plus your postage and packaging, and it comes in different shades of green. Um, I reckon you could probably get you know half a dozen trees out of a pack. And you can also use it, as you can see in the picture there, for uh, doing ivy up the side of a building or little bushes, hedges. It, you know, it's, it's great stuff. Very, very versatile. You know, if you cut, cut it into a strip, you pretty much have an instant hedge. Really, really good stuff. Or just tear off a wee piece and you've got a little bush. I've got another piece of uh, tree root here. So, you know, that would make a... Well, you could. You could make a tree out of that. But you could also just cut it up and make uh, little trees. So you can just cut that off. Strip off those bits at the bottom to leave a trunk. Just jam this into my tweezers to hold it. And then just add some glue. And then just stick your foliage on. And there we go, a little tree. So I've got a big bundle of tree roots here, so I'm going to have some fun making some trees of all shapes and sizes. Just poking a hole in my layer here where I'm going to put one of the trees. Let me just try and fit this one. That'll go there fine, so we'll get some glue on it. And then it goes. I think I'll put this one just in here. It's time I started getting some trees up in this part of the layout. So it's quite easy for me to make holes in my layout because it's just polystyrene and plaster. Let's see if this tree now fits in that hole, which it does. So that'll be fine there. There we are, that's that one glued in. Got a couple of wee ones here. Again, I think I'll put them up around the houses somewhere. So I'll prop this tree up until the, uh, the glue dries because it's, it's going to fall into the river otherwise. Um, but that'll be fine. Uh, and I've got my one next to the house there. I've put another little one in there. And another one there. And we'll certainly add an awful lot more. I'll get a few trees out of those roots, I think. Uh, I should say that, you know, I realise not everybody lives in the rural area, not everybody's going to come across uh, fallen trees with suitable roots to do this. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to show that if if you do come across fallen trees uh, with exposed roots, have a look. You might get some uh, some decent trees out of them. But little bits of twig and stuff can be used just as well. Um, just a little bit of an update on my layout. Uh, in my last layout update, I was talking about building a, a bridge uh, across here into this station. I've abandoned that idea because there really isn't enough room over here. Um, I was toying the idea of, of a road going underneath the rails here and I think if I'd only had those two tracks there I think I might have done that. But having this other track just kind of makes it a bit... Uh, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with doing it. So I've had a complete rethink and what I'm now planning is uh, something a bit more drastic. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my tower house. I'm going to move it up on top of the hill there. Um, and that will free up this space here. And I think what I'm going to do is upgrade this road to a two-lane road rather than this little uh, country lane. Um, so have a better road coming down here, sloping down the way, and then coming across uh, a better level crossing here. But I still think I'm going to uh, change this and probably make this into a car park still. But just the idea of having a road coming down uh, from this side wasn't really going to work, I don't think. So we'll upgrade this road going up here. That'll leave me a bit more space here. I can probably get some more houses and stuff in. So 
make a, a bigger and better village, I think. But there we go, I just wanted to share um, how I was making some trees. Right, catch us later. Oh, dead sheep. <laughs>